Jason, I'll show you went through the, the whole range of emotions on the touchline there. A crazy FA Cup tie, but a dominant and clinical second half display sees us through. Yeah, I think you've hit the nail on the head. I mean, both attacking sides in the first half uh, were in the element, weren't they? Um, every, every time they went forward, it looked like they were going to score. And every time we went forward, it looked like we were going to score. Um, we were sloppy defensively, first half, really, really all over the shop. Um, Gouldy pulled off a couple of great saves. And, and to be honest, like I said, we, we've we've missed a few chances in the first half, and you, stand, you, you, you cast your minds back for those people who were here last year. That like was was it was a bit of our uh, a bogey bogey side last year. We were, we were awful. Um, started well. Glenn Taylor's first goal was unbelievable. You know, flicked over the over the centre half side and volleyed it in. Uh, and, and then you're over the moon. You start well, but then you know we've we've gifted two goals. They've took them well, but like I say defensively, we need to have a look at that. The ball's travelled both times, 50, 60 yards, and and, and they finished it well. Um, and like I said, I was glad to get in a two all really because Ramos, he, he was he was excellent today. I thought his his energy levels were were, were scary. Um, and he could have had two or three himself, but like you say, he kept getting in there and he kept he kept kept making them runs, and, and he deserved that finish to, at, at, at half time. I thought second half, I, said, I thought we were absolutely outstanding. I th I, um, we scored a great goal right right after after half time, brilliant move. And then we've had two brilliant chances where Glenn's you know could have could have done better, and then Jamie Chandler and McKenna could have done better, and then and then. As it happens, you know, you turn to your bench and say them them chances are going to probably cost you, um, and they've got in again with a long ball and and, and Gould has pulled off an unbelievable save, and then after that it was it was like I say it was it was an absolute in, uh, pleasure to watch. I thought I thought everything about our teams that we've we've had over the years, the the, the, the work rate, the togetherness, the effort, and the quality was was there in abundance. And like I said, it, it could have been seven or eight in the end. No disrespect then because. They're a good side. We've got Conference North players are all, all splattered across their team, um, and we've we've dismantled them in the second half. And we scored at key times in the game. We scored just before the break, and we scored just after the break. So how pivotal do you think they they were obviously? Because if Ashton, if they get a third when it's two one, then it's a completely different story. Yeah, and like I said to you earlier, I think if you, you start to rule your chances, we've had two great chances and missed. Um, and then when Gouldy's pulled off that save, if they'd have got one there, it might have been a stiff, different story. But I always fancied us on the break. I, I thought we, we looked a real threat. Um, I mean, Robo, first half on the right-hand side, I don't think we knew whether we were sticking or twisting. But like the second half, I thought he was brilliant. And I thought there was some there was very, very good performances out there. You know, credit to Chris Mason, who hasn't played a lot of football. And, you know, we've we've got injuries, the left back, and he's come in. He was solid as ever. Um, so I'm delighted for him because he's, he's a long-standing servant of the club. Um, you know, and he's led us to a victory in FA Cup. And, and like I said, the, the players deserve every credit today. Um, they've said all the right things at half time. We knew we'd be fit. We know we've got. A, there's not many teams who are fitter than us. Um, and I think that was in abundance in the second half. We've 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 really put on a performance for the supporters who've travelled. And the draw for the next rounds on Monday. Do you know where you'll be when the draw's made? Yeah, in a dinner queue, as as was last week. Uh, hopefully, the head teacher doesn't see me phone out, or it'll be taken off us and confiscated. So I'll I'll I'll, I'll hide that. Uh, but no, I'll, I'll listen to the draw. It's, it's nice to be in the hat, and like I say, it's good to put something back in a club because these are what the, the, these results are for the club. You know, it's a lot of money for the club, um, and it's a lot of publicity. And we, we we knew how disappointed we were last year going out so early against Witten Albion. Um, so it's just important that we're in the in the hat on 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 um, on Monday, and, and, and thank, thankfully we are.